homes. The Tauranga City Council has just come to a major decision about what to do with a group of residents who have been forced to leave their uninhabitable homes. We'll cross live to Tauranga shortly to find out what that decision is, but first the homeowners themselves giving evidence to the council today. Bridget Grace reports. Behind the wire fence, their homes sit empty, and today they let the council know just how they feel. And we are beyond angry. It's devastating. We feel we have been robbed for something that we have worked so hard for. They'd all bought what they thought were their dream homes in the Bella Vista development in Pies Pa, but it quickly became a nightmare. The developer went into liquidation, then council engineers started investigating, and when Cyclone Holler hit in March, they were asked to evacuate. 21 houses were deemed unsafe. A variety of defects were found. Our dreams were shattered. Our beautiful family home was not safe, and it looked like we could never go home. The homeowners have spent months living in motels or with family, and the ordeal has taken a toll. Some told councillors they can't sleep without sleeping pills. Others said they'd got sick due to stress, and their children are suffering too. Leaving our house so abruptly and moving around traumatised my daughter so much that when we finally got back home temporarily, she said, I'm not going to unpack my bag because the man's just going to move us again. I'm petrified with no home to offer them. I might lose custody of my girls and my girls are my world. Four of the properties were given code of compliance and had been lived in for an entire year before the evacuations took place. Today, with a unanimous voice, the homeowners made it clear they want to be bought out at market price and they want compensation for what they've been through. All we did was buy a house and put our trust in the process. One homeowner wants something more too, a refund for the building consents. You failed, you should not have been paid for that service. It's just a matter of, um, of principle. They all feel let down by the system, a system they say they'll never be able to trust again. So Bridget, quite a complicated situation to sort out. What's the council decided to do? Well, we've just heard that the Tauranga City Council have made their decision. What they've decided is they will buy back the homes of the homeowners, so that will be great news for the homeowners. But what we don't know is the cost. It's, uh, the statement from the council says that'll be part of negotiations, so we don't know if that buyback will be at market rate or not. Uh, now, in the statement, the council have conceded, they've said that the homeowners have been to hell and back as, as part of of this whole situation and they've worded it that their decision is the appropriate way forward. Um, it also says that Mr Heath QC has recommended that there be a further investigation into just what has happened here and why. Back to you. Bridget, thank you.